All right, guys, this is the, the big reveal. Um, I told you I had a new vacuum on the way, right? I think I did. Um, so uh, I'm about to show you what it is. And uh, yeah, I got a Shark Vertex. This one is used, but it's, judging by the pictures, it's very lightly used, but I didn't have a budget for a brand new one. Um, sitting on the side of it, I have one of my MV60s. I have two of these. This is the one that I haven't even used. It is used, but I myself have not used it. Um, all I've done is turn it on. I just got done cleaning it, and it cleaned up very nicely. To the left here, we have my MV22, and those are kind of control vacuums, just to kind of see what the Vertex looks like. Um, the MV60 and the MV22, basically the MV60 over here is an upgraded version of the MV22 over here. Um, you can see they're very similar. Uh, both the MV60 is way better. I love both my MV60s. I haven't even used this one, but I've used the other one. I would imagine they're quite the same. <laughs> um, and I also love this MV22, although I would rather use one of my MV60s over it because this one is not in its best condition. It's missing the cyclone pack, which doesn't affect it too much because I put a cardboard thing out there with some holes in it, and that actually kind of works as a separator, and it works okay. Um, this lower hose is homemade out of an old Bissell Power Force bagless hose, and I just cut it to size and put it in to the two pieces. Um, I do have a cover on the way, but it's not a purple one. It's a silver one, but it'll work, and then I have a whole new set of filters on the way for it. And then it'll be a little bit more functional. And then in the future, hopefully I'll get a uh, cyclone pack. The only reason I haven't yet is because everyone's wanting like $34 for one. So, no. <laughs> uh, this is uh, not technically a 0M because they kind of just stopped putting bristles on them all in all. Uh, and they without the bristles they're kind of just these little rubber things and they don't really get tangles i guess um obviously it's got the duo clean technology you can see it malted up i think it treat uh cheerios here um and you can see how well it works um the only thing i do know is that these it looks like they're actually replaceable the fins but who knows um these do wear out over time but i got this thing for only 190 after um, I got the vacuum itself for like 175 but since it's a bigger thing, the taxes kind of got ridiculous, and the shipping was free, so the vacuum itself was like 179 when all was said and done, and, uh, I think after, like, everything was, you know, the total was like 190 So, uh, yeah, let's just get to it. As usual, I am super prepared with no knife around here whatsoever. So, I didn't even know I was getting the original box, but I did, so that is kind of cool. I'm not actually sure how these open up. So, yeah, judging by the pictures, this thing's in pretty, pretty good shape, actually. Um, it just looks like a little bit dusty, and that's about it. side of the box is pretty beat up, but still got the original box. Now, if you guys can answer this question, if this thing, I know for a fact, it's got a five-year warranty, and I know it's not a five-year-old vacuum, because they were just not only released, like, what, a year ago now? Um, so, is, do you guys know a way that I can still access my five-year warranty on this? Because if I can, that would be awesome. It says on your shipping label here that this is a 20 pound machine, which is not bad at all, considering, or 22 pound, I mean, which is about average, so. I'd have to say the MV22 and the MV60 are probably around that as well, and considering this has a lot more stuff. So, 
doesn't have the original styrofoam, but they just use bubble wrap, and I'd much rather have that than stupid styrofoam or something. So here is our first part, the rose gold wand. I didn't want to get one of the Walmart ones because I don't like the blue color much, but I love this rose gold. This looks good. There is one little blemish here, just a little dimple, which all of these shark wands end up with dents. Um, so that's okay. Uh, this looks functional. Doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with this. Uh, any clogs? Nope. So that's good. All of the prongs inside of here look good. Now, I was also possibly going to get an Apex, but Dylan said for the price that I was going to pay for that Apex, I could possibly find a good Vertex used as well. So we decided to go with this. Um, so, some plastic. Some more plastic. Looks like he has some of the original packing in here. Some nice paper. I love packing paper. It's way better than like packing peanuts or something. Cord looks good, prongs aren't bent. Doesn't have any, still smells like a new vacuum, honestly. Here is our hose, which has a little bit of dust on it, yet again, but like I said, it is a slightly used machine. Uh, this hose does seem kind of short, but that's okay, because you got the wand. It's got a little thing on there, and that's not broken. It's got a nice stress relief, which is actually really, really nice. It's a nice one. Um, you got your uh, carpet adjustments, hard floor, low pile, thick carpet, area rug, and then this is your power button. It feels feels a little bit lighter. Um, Dylan said that the Vertex wand kind of feels a little bit cheaper than the Apex wand. Um, I mostly wanted the Vertex because it's still kind of sort of cool and new still. And I like the uh, color scheme a little bit better. And they apparently clean better and have a better airflow setup. You know, they just the whole system just flows nicer. So it looks like it's going to need just a slight cleaning. Uh, yet again, very low use for sure. Well, I know you have to pop these out every once in a while, so how, how do you do such thing? I do have the manual, so I'll have to take a look in this later. Did come with the manual, I was pretty happy about that, actually. Very happy about that. I always like, especially with the used machines, it's kind of a... Um, as you can see, there's some dust in the bin for sure. Oh, that's the lift away button. So where's the bin release? Right here. Filters look a little bit dusty. Probably just vacuum them out, actually. Oh, and there's only two, two on like the MV22. I think that one's got, what, like three? <laughs> Um, and there are like three of these thick ones and one of these. Filter. That's the casing anyways. And then I know... Wow, this power has got some weight to it. It's got the brush roll indicator to tell you if it's working or not. Sorry. So... Like I was saying earlier, the wow, look how clean that is still. It starts up here at the pre-motor filter, and it just goes straight down. It's literally just a vertical airflow setup, unlike the Apex that just had a very complicated airflow setup, or something like the Eureka Ultima that has, like, the worst airflow system of all time. Now, these do not have the brushful garage like the Apex did, um, where you could just pop the top off and clean it, so that's unfortunate, but, you know... What you gonna do? <laughs> uh, the 
these, like I said, these filters have slight dust, but I'm not even gonna bother washing them. Clearly this guy used it like once and it doesn't smell like any, anything at all. So I'm not gonna, cause the more you wash these, the more they wear out, honestly. And if they don't smell, I'm just gonna vacuum them off. Um, so this is nice and soft, like it's supposed to be. The blue bristles are a little bit stiffer like it's supposed to be. And the power fins. seem to be functional and there is one row of br bristles little blue rumors i need to figure out how to get this out though because i know you have to clean behind here it's minor scratching on the sides sealed systems can't beat that yet again they put the seal they put the seal inside the vacuum which i don't like i would like if it was um on the filter so that it's getting replaced when you replace the filter which i'll have to look i'm pretty sure you do these like once every two years you do that the filter because it's got a pretty good filtration system and you don't have to do it as often and here's nice and clean it's got this nice little rose gold right here. Clean filter every month. <clears throat> every month. That's a little bit too often if you ask me. Uh, it's got rubber coated wheels on the rear. But not rubber coated wheels on the front and they're like a felt coating. Uh oh, I think I, I think I found what I'm supposed to do to. Yes, okay. So that's nice and clean. Wow, this has some weight to it. Damn. It's actually got some bearings in there, it looks like. Let me go grab my protectant spray and a rag, and I'll just at least clean what I can here. if you want the plastic parts in your vacuum to not get brittle if you don't want your vacuum to get brittle like these sharks tend to do not brittle but creaky this stuff is the type of stuff that really helps like even my mb22 no creaking mb60 this wasn't even mine for its life so it's got a little bit of creak to it and depending on where you store these that'll do a number on it too clean in here every once in a while. I'm just putting a protectant in here to keep it from getting brittle. You don't have to do this all the time, just every once in a while helps. If you, just keeping it clean helps. I'm wearing her. Also keep these power fins clean. If you keep them clean, if you leave the dirt on them, the dirt's gonna get smushed into them and cause them to get weaker, so. We want that. What is this thing? It's like a little. <laughs> little brush right here. I don't know what that does. Um, there's some random screws right here. Right here. Wheels are in good shape. Oof. You know, that was another thing me and Dylan were talking about. The Shark Apex has nicer wheels on it. So there is a few things that they cheapened up on, but he just got a Vertex, and uh, it's kind of cool when you have the same vacuum as one of your friends, because you guys can, you know, kind of 
compare them, you know they're the same thing, you can compare the conditions of them, yeah, no, no, it's just fun. Because we, uh, we talk crap about each other's Ultimas all the time. Because <laughs> his has a better motor, and mine just has a better, uh, body, I guess you could say. back in. I know all you really have to do with this, I think you can wash it, but I don't think it's the smartest idea, but I know people have done it. Just go ahead and wipe it off, and that's really all you have to do. Don't use any cleaner on it or anything if you don't have to. Let's see here. And then first, yeah, and then this end. Okay, I like how that works. All right. Then looks fairly decent. This also has a different cyclone setup than they normally do. Let's see, how do I? You, you can make this work, right? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, there's a nice layer of fine dust. Not too bad, though. Foam seals, come on, shark. No, 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 we don't want that. So I think I'm just gonna rinse this off in the sink and that should should be enough for it. Another foam seal. All right. I'm not even gonna wash the cyclone area. I'm just gonna, cause you don't wanna get that screen wet cause apparently the rust. I just wanna wash all this dust out of here. And uh, that'll make it look a lot nicer. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't get it very wet, which is kind of what I was going for. Just wanted to get all that main dust off. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply my plastic protectant. Love the color of this machine, the grays and the silvers and the rose gold. Definitely just a nice looking machine. Can't wait to have this one up in the collection. Well, it already is, but this is one of those vacuums that I never really saw myself owning because it's a little bit on the high scale for me. But you know, I'm like, you know what, I've been saving up. Some money for particularly to buy a vacuum, you know, I kind of just have a little bit of money stash just to, you know, have for a vacuum. And, uh, <coughs> you know, it was getting to the point where I could, hey, enough in here to get me something nice. And, uh, I've been needing a new vacuum anyways, like for, this is actually going to be my daily driver. Um, I mean, why else would you get something like this? Uh. This isn't really a collector's vacuum quite yet. Neither is the MV60, but I wouldn't really want to daily drive that. And the MV22, I would consider kind of a collector's machine now, at least for people like 
me and Dylan who aren't even that into Kirby's and stuff. I'm not really into Kirby's. I would much rather have a billion sharks than a billion Kirby's. Um, I think sharks and stuff have more character, personally. They have a little bit more... Uh, they have a difference between all of them. Each one of them is different. So, I think that's kind of... My thoughts. Oh my gosh. This stuff is kind of hard to buff sometimes, but it, believe me, it helps, especially if you want your bins to stay clear, clear for longer. It's kind of the main reason I do it. Uh, I did get a little bit of water on the screen, and you don't want it to rust, so make sure you dry it off. You don't have to worry about waxing the parts that don't get contacted much or like touched. But any parts that get grabbed a lot or, you know, are more exposed to dirt and stuff, you want to keep nice and protected. foam seals are in good shape. The re reason I don't like foam seals is because they tend to, uh, to rip, that's all. So I hear this, the way they designed the screen cyclone type thing here works a lot better than on the previous model, so that's, I'm looking forward to that. The sharks, usually the filters get clogged up a little bit too quickly for what they are. You know, it's kind of a spending machine, so you want it to stay clean a little bit longer, but from what Dylan was saying, his filter has stayed clean since he got it, but he did do a mess test and that got it kind of dirty, but he washed it. So, but he says for just normal house use, it stayed clean for a while would have stayed clean unless he did that mass test. I will not be running it in this video, I will say that. A lot of you guys probably want me to. these foam seals clean especially um, because the dirt will erode these over time if you leave the dirt in them.
use some pressure when you clean them to wipe off the water you'll get all the water out because you don't want it sitting in there Shark's bins clean up super well, so that's also kind of working in my favor. How's it looking so far? Super excited to have a nice vacuum to use as a daily driver for once. Never really felt that pleasure. Although I am still cleaning my Hoover Power Max Pet, my past daily driver, but it kind of stopped being my daily driver when I started using it like a shop vac it kind of just became a shop vac only <laughs> so but yeah i keep you know a lot of people think that these sharks won't last a couple days well as for a lot of people think it'll last a while and i'm one of those people um because there's really no reason for them not to, unless you treat your stuff like crap. Uh, make sure you get inside of the spray nice and clean if you do get it wet make sure you dry it like i said because they will rust if you're not careful they tend to rust I'm just going to protect the bin and uh, get back to you guys. Alright, now time to just assemble it. Hose goes on here. Just fix it like that. And this goes up here. Clicks it like that. This just pops into here. That holds the hose. Wow, that stress relief is nice. Ooh, the little bracket for the hose actually has like a little shark logo on it. That's kind of cool. So, let's check out some of the... Oh, I need to put the uh, thing on here. Dusting brush, pretty simple looking dusting brush. This does not, this swivels, so that's kind of cool. Okay, that pops apart. The uh, apex did. Stores on the machine. And here we have a turbo brush, which looks new, and that also has the power fins. Um, they're not powered, but it does have to, a nice fan in there. It seems to have a nice belt on there, too. Now I know. So, as it normally goes, 
the turbo brush does not appear to fit on the machine, which is kind of silly, stupid. Yeah, you're gonna scratch the machine, so if you don't care about scratching it, you could probably get it on there, but I don't wanna scratch it. Now, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this had a crevice tool. Oh yeah, very simple. It's got little stubby things on it. Um, kind of got like a little air gap there. That I know that can still on the machine. Wait, brush from the crevice tool goes on this side. And then this is on this side. And then the turbo brush you just have to kind of keep somewhere else, unfortunately. So I'm gonna clean up and uh, we will actually run this thing real quick. So before we try out the Vertex, I'm going to quickly go over the rug, the carpet, I guess you should say. But the only reason I do this thing is because of the fake filter that I made for it. It's like a homemade filter. It kind of strains it a little bit, yet dust still gets into the motor. I probably shouldn't be using this thing, but I like using it. Um, uh, what was I going to say? So yeah, it's straining a little bit, and it's not at its best performance, but... Shark that it is, this thing is so nice to use. And it was, it's so beat up. Uh, hopefully, someone will uh, realize that those stupid cyclone packs aren't worth that much. Um, well, apparently, they are, because there's this one guy, he would not come down on the price because I was willing to buy it from him, but it had rust on the screen because clearly it got wet. And I would buy it for her because I'm not expecting this thing to ever look perfect. And I probably could have just sanded the rust off anyways and made it look decent. Um, but I, you know, I tried offering him just a little bit less. Well, at first I offered him a lot less. And then he went back up and I'm like, can we do this? You know, there's some rust here. And he's like, oh, rust is just cosmetic. And I'm like, well, no, because eventually it's just going to fall apart. Because it's a really thin metal for that screen. So the rust will eventually just eat at it and then it'll just fall apart. So, I'm gonna pause the- well, I guess I don't even need to pause the video, I'm gonna run this upstairs real quick.
you guys still recording? Yep. So, so this does creak a little bit already, which I was kind of expecting. These powered lift always seem to squeak more. Already, I'm just loving the look of and feel of this machine. I'm just looking forward to uh, having it as me daily driver. Now, depending on the job, I'm not gonna like, I'm never gonna use it on sheetrock dust. I have other vacuums to do that. Um, and I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna be able to abuse it or anything. It's just gonna be for carpet and hard floors. That was the main reason I got it, was for the hard floor performance. So, yeah, um, I already did turn it on without you guys, my apologies. But, um, it's got like lights. <laughs> Kind of heavy and it definitely holds like it's kind of aggressive oh that's power lift away mode the uh it's gonna take some getting used to <laughs> wow so picked up some carpet powder that's another thing that i'm gonna try not to use with this because i don't want to wreck it Although for people like me, I clean my vacuums often and the carpet powder doesn't affect them very much at all, really, because um, I clean them. Um, but if you don't clean your vacuum as often, you don't want to use carpet powder because you're gonna, it's gonna get in the motor and if you don't clean it out, well, if you keep your filters clean, you'll be fine. Because that's where the carpet powder can tend to go. Uh, but yeah, so it clearly got some carpet powder that my other vacuums couldn't. Um, and just some fine dust for her. So, yeah. Let me take a look at what I mean. Is like this is the powered lift away, and the bin release is on the machine. And this is kind of where a bin release normally is, right here. So, that's going to take some getting used to. Filters. No, no new dust on them. I love the way this machine looks. Feels very well built. Um, yes, it creaks, but that's not necessarily due to it being crappy or something. Um, so there's one more thing I want to try. Oh my god.
so all I really notice is that it seems to want to, the rear of it kind of wants to lift up a, little, a lot when you're vacuuming, kind of like older Hoover convertibles would, like the rear would lift up as you're vacuuming. Um, and that's a little bit annoying, but um, I already knew that going into this because I'm always going to want this on there for the extra weight to get deeper cleaning because the extra weight helps it get deeper down. in terms of taking this on and off, like one button. You don't even have to use your eyes. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely like this, and it's not too loud. I like that the uh, controls are right on the um, handle, and they light up too. Letters don't light up, but it lights up whatever position they're in. You can tell the motor's still fairly new because it's still got that random wind down that sounds bad, but it's not. It's just still working in. Carbon brushes aren't quite seated yet. So yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think. You think I made the right choice? I think I did. I really like this. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.